Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the Lavatory Express. <laughs> with Frank Hovis. <laughs> Last night I did something I haven't done for years. I wet the bed. I woke up to find that I'd used my pyjamas as a gavage speak, ladies and gentlemen. And I panicked a bit because for a moment I wasn't quite sure where I was. I didn't know if I was in my own bed at home or in somebody else's bed in somebody else's home. But uh, I got my bearings and thank God it was somebody else's bed. <laughs> but I must have passed a substantial amount of wee-wee because it had brought down the ceiling of the room below. <laughs> So embarrassing. What do you do in that kind of situation? I, I just set fire to the bed and get <laughs> A bad start to the day. I mean, my only excuse was that I'd been asleep when it happened, obviously. <laughs> if I'd been awake, I'd have been masturbating. Uh, <laughs> which is strict, strictly against doctor's orders, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, a few weeks ago I sprained my penis quite badly. <laughs> running for a bus. <laughs> you shouldn't masturbate when you're running for a bus, I know. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? The bus was coming. <laughs> and so was I. <laughs> Only limp, I can tell you. <laughs> anyway, this meant a trip to the hospital. To the genital urinary medicine department. It's a bit of a mouthful, I must admit. And I went in, and the doctor was very friendly. <laughs> intimate. Intimate, I would say. He asked some very personal questions. It got quite physical at one point. <laughs> Actually, I think we rather hit it off. He asked to see me again anyway. <laughs> I mean, I know he's a broke, but for Pete's sake, it's the first interest anybody's shown in me for a bloody long time. <laughs> he was very concerned. Wanted to know if I took precautions before having sex, and I said, of course, I always take the precaution of having an erection. <laughs> oh, I should be down that hospital again tomorrow. That's probably why I wet the bed last night. Excitement, you see. <laughs> he asked me to give him a sample. And if that's not love, it's Pretty bloody gross, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>